I'm just changing the rear brake pads in my partner's Mitsubishi Outlander. I think it's a 2014. Um, while it's much like changing brake pads in any other car I've, I've done this on, um, there is a bit of a trick that had me confused. And if you're, um, you're here, maybe you've got the same um, question that I had uh, about what you need to do to compress the, uh, the piston. So you only need to pull two bolts off to remove the caliper. Uh, I used an extension on the bottom bolt uh, just so it could clear a, a little clip that's in the way there. Once you pull the caliper off, the old brake pads should slide out of the rattle clips uh, nice and easy. Um, and likewise, inserting the new brake pads um, is nice and simple. The pad with the wear tab, the little spring that makes the noise when the brake pads are nearly worn out, goes on the inside, or at least that's what I did. This is where I got a bit stuck at first. On brake pads I've changed in the past, you can use a pair of multi-grips or even just push with the screwdriver to compress the piston. On the Outlander, and maybe other new fan dangled cars, uh, you actually need to rotate the piston clockwise uh, to get it to go back in. Choose a spanner that still has nice square corners rather than an old spanner that's kind of rounded off on the corners. Um, that'll save it from slipping out so easily. Um, it's, it's worth the trip inside to choose a good spanner. You'll have to wind that piston all the way in in order to be able to get the caliper back on. And you might need to use a screwdriver to compress the little um, threaded sockets that the bolts go into. And with that, the job's pretty much done. Uh, just tighten up the bolts, put the wheel back on, and don't forget to pump the brake pedal a few times just to re-pressurize that piston.